The four seed West Aurora taking on 13 seed Wabonzi Valley. Warriors on a quest for their second consecutive regional title. Opening minutes of the game, Wabonzi on the attack. Giacomo Carino unleashes a shot that gets over the head of goalie Ivan Berciaga, but hits off the crossbar and back out of play to keep the game scoreless. It wouldn't stay that way for long though, West Aurora on the offensive. Patience Yuha with a pass that deflects through a few bodies and finds the foot of Excel Sanchez, who knocks home the game's opening goal, 1-0 Blackhawks. Under five minutes to play in the opening half, Mitch Mueller quickly feeds Noah Glorioso, who ties the game at one heading into the break. Early in the second half, Justin Fitzpatrick racing towards the ball, Berchiaga clears it, but Noah Glorioso stops the ball and fires a shot into the back corner of the net. Two goals for the sophomore as the Warriors take a 2-1 lead. A couple minutes later, Warriors on the throw-in. Giacomo Carino uses his body to shield the ball from the West Aurora defense, makes a turn and pops the ball into the wide open net. A beautiful play gives Dub V a 3-1 lead. Blackhawks not going away quietly. William Ortiz runs down a pass and centers for Axel Sanchez, who cuts the deficit to one with his second goal of the game. A couple minutes later, West Aurora still attacking. Sanchez passes off to Andy Emil, who strikes past the defense and rolls a shot into the left corner of the goal. We're all tied at three. 80 minutes aren't enough. This one is going into overtime. In the first overtime, Blackhawks looking to get back in front, but Vincent Russo is there to get in front of the patient's Yuha shot. Late in the second OT, Giacomo Perino with the ball on the left side. The senior lofts a pass over to who else? Noah Glorioso, who taps a shot that rattles in. The first career hat trick for Glorioso is also the game winner as the Warriors stay alive. They will face Eola Road rival Mattia Valley in the regional final. So on that play, I saw uh, one of my players, Giacomo Perino, take the ball down the end line, and I was on the backside, and I decided to make a run in, and he played a perfect ball to the back post, and I was lucky enough to get back on the end of it. I mean, those are the best games, honestly, because it always goes back and forth and stuff. And I, I love playing in those games. Honestly. It's a great feeling uh, coming in as a 13th seed, playing the four seed. It's a big upset. It's great for him to step up as a sophomore and just make a huge impact in this game. And it's, I hope he just keeps it up throughout the playoffs because he's a great player. And